Hey guys, welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And I'm here with Captain Stork. I think that's how to say his name, but um, he's a toxic variant for Captain Deadbeard. And I'm going to teach you and show you what all he has and what kind of stuff does he um, use in combat. All he uses, he has a long range combat weapon to... I'm going to turn on my hub. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. And first, it takes a little while to zoom in on your target, and then it's a long range weapon. It's a sniper. He only has one shot, but I'm not sure if, if you have a mastered, he will get more ammo. I'm not sure yet, so I don't have a mastered yet. I'll tell you guys later on. But when you hit your targets, it does toxic damage and splash damage. Anyone near the hit of the radius will get toxified by one damage or two damage plus he has a thrain thrower to take out his enemies up close combat but it overheats so make sure you don't overheat it really quickly but if you're in desperate need of using it all then go right ahead but I'm not sure if he has a overheat upgrade yet kinda lagging on Xbox right now but I find when I use this character, um, I when I'm near enemy characters, I do toxic damage just like other toxic variants like the P, Toxic P and some others. But he's a pretty good character to snipe off your enemies, but if you want to use him mid close combat, you can because he has the Thrain Thrower to take out his enemies. I'm going to try to snipe someone. And um, I missed. I'm not the greatest sniper in the world, so. He does 39 damage plus 2 damage per second, but it does go away just like every other effect in the game. 46, that was pretty good. I think it randoms between um, 36 damage to 46 or 60 damage, I think. I think he, um, I'm not sure if he does 16, probably not. Forty-six for a headshot, forty-six. He's a very good character, you just gotta be very accurate with him or you're gonna miss. And then you have to wait and then resume your aim and your enemy is probably gone. I got a body shot right there, so I got 36 damage. 36 dam uh, 46 damage I meant. Let me try to get a headshot. Yeah, I missed. And the tree got him away. <laughs> Damn it. And he got taken out before I could hit him with the shot. Tree protected that plant. You see how the his teammate next to him got hurt from toxic damage. It's a pretty good, pretty good weapon. But anyways, I'm going to go up close combat. I am lagging pretty good, but oh well. All you want to do is go up close to your combat, and you do three or two damage, or and five damage per second. It's a random between how far and close your enemies are. If they're very close to you, you do five damage. But if you're medium, to sh like the very short medium version of um, range you can do three and then if they're too far from you you can still do two damage but if they have shields you're gonna do a little bit less damage sadly but it's a pretty good weapon to if you want to go in mid-range combat like in um, not go super sniper you can go mid-range in the battle and then if someone goes near you you can use your thrain thrower to almost save your life I'm not sure if it's really effective against a chomper because those guys are made for up plus combat but I th it this move is pretty much this it's like a shotgun, but a throwing thrower version. 
it's made it hit multiple enemies instead of just one. Oh, talking about the talking about the devil. He's right here. See, he's doing toxic damage to me, and I'm doing toxic damage to him. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go in the booth now. Wait. How you like that, huh? I'm going to try to use both of my abilities to take out the Citron. There you go. I found a really effective way is when you're doing your throwing thrower and then you shoot really fast and then your flamethrower reloads instantly and then you can fire your shot again. I It's kind of like a little cheat sheet of um, breaking you don't have to wait for your gun to reload. For I mean, uh, your throwing thrower to stop overheating. Just do this and then do that. You can take out a player or a guy really fast. Anyways, we're gonna show you in the booth, uh, Captain uh, Stork. He it's close range spray and very powerful long range sniper shot deals toxic damage to plants. He's a um, you can obviously tell he's a toxic variant from afar and from close range because you guys can see his toxic damage. He still has the same abilities, just like Captain Deadbeard and all the other ones. But um, he's just a toxic variant version of them. Plus, he looks really cool and he has the toxic effects coming from him. I think that's really all it for Toxic Deadbeard, but. He's a very, very good character in back it, in the backyard. I'm gonna do a very good, like, I'm gonna do a gameplay video on him very soon. If you guys are gonna enjoy that, let me know, cause um, I'm, I'm gonna do a gameplay video anyways on him soon. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this little showcase video and show, showing you all about him. My first time getting him, cause I finally got him in the packs finally. <laughs> But um, thanks guys so much for watching and comment down below what you guys think about him and all that cool stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed.